ओके सी हर्षिल हकानी Oh yes, sir. My voice is visible. Oh, voice is audible. Yes, yes. Oh, yeah. I am sharing my uh, presentation. Sure, sure. Okay, my screen is visible. Yeah, now it's visible. Okay. Ah, uh, so hello. Good afternoon to everyone. I am C. Harshilakani. I am practicing C. A. since two thousand twenty. My area of work is a G. S. T. income tax rera and audit and my expertise is in field of excel and ai technology i have developed various excel tools through which are through power query which are is uh, which are useful in the audit but today i will walk you through a quick automation which i built to simplify client communication especially for the payment follow ups sending follow ups manually is not only the time consuming but also easy to mess up that is wrong names missed entry and awkward formattings we asked ourselves how can we automate this while keeping it personal and professional so to answer this it is a generated personalized image for each client and then send them via email automatically so for this i will live demonstrate that how to generate personalized image for each customer and then how can we send reminders to them via email using just one command whether it is a 10 clients or a 100 the process remains the same and it's done in minutes so for the live i am uh, sharing my screen Uh, so my chat GPT screen is visible. Yes, 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 Arshil ji. Okay. Uh, so basically, I will give a prompt that I have an Excel file with a four column customer form, amount, service. So I want a Python script to generate a separate image for each customer with a personalized image. The image should display a greeting like a dear customer, then a message. that your outstanding payment with our form is are listed as below and a properly formatted table should be generated like uh, what is our form name service uh, which we have provided and a amount so we kindly request you clear the about you at earliest so i am taking this prompt and copy paste it in a chat gpt so when i uh, give the prompt to the chat gpt chat gpt has provided me a well python script which can uh, be used to generate the images so i am doing just one thing i am copying this script and i will open my notepad i will paste this script and i will save this script in my folder i will name is at a outstanding os and after that we need to provide the extension dot py for the python scripts and i am uh, selecting the all files and i am just saving it so now my python script has been saved and my image folders are blank i will delete all the images right now so how to run now i will just right click on my file explorer and click in open in terminal terminal so the terminal has been open this is the windows powershell screen which can be used to run the python script and which can be used to run the ps1 script which are uh, of a powershell scripts i will just now type python and i will type my script name that is os.py and i will just hit enter
So it has uh, given me the some errors that uh, some object is missing. So I am copy paste it, it and given in chat GPT that some error is there. So again, I will click on edit in notepad. I will clear the previous one and copy paste the new script. Again, just I am doing the same running the script. So as you check, if no error is there, the images will be generated. As of now, I think some script is uh, missing. So I am using the same uh, script which was there, which was running. So I am doing. So as you can see that the images has been generated and the images are generated by a customer name that dear Aaron Wood, your outstanding payment with his or form are as listed as below. It is with uh, form service and amount table. And we kindly request you clear the about dues at the earliest. So all the images has been generated separately uh, through customer names. So now for sending the reminders, uh, we will use the email and uh, Gmail SMTP prompt. So I am giving the second prompt that, okay, now the images has been generated. Now, please provide me the prompt to send the emails to all the client individually. I have just given my folder uh, names that uh, my uh, images are in uh, this folder. Uh, my CSV is in this folder, mail id.csv. And uh, I have uh, tell the chat GPT to create the email log. So this is the uh, email script. I will again go to the notepad. I will click on new. I am just pasting it. But uh, uh, for email, you need to provide uh, your email. I am providing right now. And on uh, the app password, which uh, will be available through generating a uh, custom password. So I have given the app password and I am just saving it as a email.py and saving it. So what I will do again, I will again open the ter terminal, then I will type Python. So it will give me that uh, this email has been sent to the Aaron Wood, email has been sent to ABC Private Limited, email has been sent to Adam Reed, email has been sent to Edition Fisher. So all the email has been sent now. So it can be uh, very useful uh, when you uh, try to uh, generate the images and uh, when you want to send the emails uh, in automatic way. And by this also, uh, you can uh, just create that automation using the Windows automation script in which you can set that uh, this script should work every week or every month. So automatically images will be generated and the email will be sent to all the customers. So I will just uh, summarize my uh, PPT. Last two minutes, Sir Shilji. Yes, sir. Okay, so there was, this was the live demonstration. Uh, now uh, what I have used that uh, for generating personalized reminder, uh, I have uh, given the basic data like a client name form and a service and pending amounts. So it builds an image with a neat table, which adds a greeting and includes a sign off. And this image not only look clean, but they feel personal and respectful. After that, for the second script, once the image are ready, tools I used to send them out, it used a separate file, which was a mail ID CSV 
to read the client email ID and match names for the right image. And each email is a customized with a short message and the client's unique image as an attachment. It sends through the Gmail. So it's a fast, safe and a trackable. And you can also uh, use the task scheduler for the automating the script and advantages of it that it saves our time and saves our effort. It eliminates manual error. It a professional and a well formatted reminders and it is in a scalable because we can uh, provide the hundreds of customer or thousands of customers in CSV and it will be easy to all of us. Thank you.